Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. And hello, 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 y'all. I almost didn't say it. Look at the cat litter right there. So I am in the car. And as most of you know, this is still my third and final week off of work. Um, but I'm going to go meet my friend Lauren. She was in the donut video that I did. You'll have to look that up if you didn't see it. She and her now husband, Dustin, joined me. And we did a Krispy Kreme mukbang. And I ate 12 donuts. Um, I'm going to meet her to walk at the mall because honey mama walks. So I'm not cleared for like vigorous physical exercise, but I am cleared to walk. So we're going to go walk the mall because I'm supposed to stay on flat surfaces. So I'm super excited. I haven't seen her. I've not been at work, so it will be so good. And I thought I would show you all our poor pitiful mall, y'all. It's, I don't know how old it is, probably 30 years old. And uh, actually it's older than that because I'm 32 and it's been here my whole life. So it's old and it's sad and it was really really bad and close to closing and now they've revamped it and it's it's beautiful inside but now they're trying to get the stores back so it used to be a crazy busy mall and then it kind of got to the point where it was like oh my gosh it's getting ready to close and now it's to that point where they're trying to get stores to come back but i really hope it stays it's a super convenient location for me it's literally two minutes away from my house two minutes and I just love it. Bath and Body Works is there. Belk is there. Um, you know, it has great potential. I'll say that. And I also wanted to tell you, and I want you guys to weigh in on this. I have been debating for years, literally for years, about getting my real estate license. And you know when that little voice in your head just starts talking louder and louder and louder and finally you're like, shut up. Well, that's to the point I am. And so I think tomorrow, I've had a lot of time to think with this surgery over the past few weeks. I really want to get my real estate license, even if it's something that in the beginning I do part-time, very part-time in addition to my full-time job, but I'm going to bite the bullet and do it. I think it's about $2,000 for everything. And I know that's scary and I hate to throw that kind of money down, but I really think that I could be good at it. I really do. And... I love the looking for houses. When I was looking for my condo, it turned into like an obsession. I became obsessed with looking for houses. And so just to be able to help, just to help people do that on a daily basis and to go show houses in my free time and my spare time, I think it's something I would really like. And sometimes it's like I can feel a change coming in my bones. I can feel it coming on. And I felt like that for the past couple of years. And that feeling has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. And so long term, what I would love to do long term down the road, I would love to do real estate. I would love to teach my classes, my classes at the YMCA, and I would love to do personal training and that be my job and that be my life. The only downside to that is I would have to go down to a part-time basis probably at the Y, uh, which would mean that I would lose my benefits and that is scary. So does anybody out there have information on how it works if you don't have benefits? Like if you have to buy your benefit? I've always been blessed with benefits at the YMCA, but I have to work full time to do that. So if it ever got to a point where I would want to do real estate as more of like a full time gig and then also teach all my classes and do personal training sessions and stuff like that at the Y. Um, does anybody have any idea how that works and how expensive it is? That's the, that's the only caveat in this plan I have. Uh, but for sure right now, what I want to do is uh, go for it and uh, do it on a part-time basis in addition to my full-time job. So any of you locals that are watching out there, almost got in a wreck, sorry car. I didn't almost get in a wreck, but I definitely pulled out in front of him. Um, do any of you all know how that works? And I don't know where I was going because I was too worried about pulling that, that car. Oh, sorry, car. See it back there? It's okay. Um, I just need to know how that works. I'm completely confused. But anyway, yes, there's no fear, any of you YMCA people. I'm not doing it any time in the near future. Um, I'm only going to be doing it on a part-time, part-time, part-time basis for now. But I would just love that. Could you imagine? Would you all buy a house for me? Would you let me sell your house? Uh, let me know. I think there's a lot of stuff that I obviously don't know about it, but I think it's something that I could learn. And I think I just have a passion for people and helping people. And I would just, I don't know, I would really love to do it. I would love to do it a lot. And I think I'm going to. So anyway, I'll check back in with you guys when we get here and hopefully uh, give you a little action shot 
as Lauren and I are walking around the mall. But I just thought, you know what? I'm going to turn the camera on because I haven't seen my people. I'm sorry I haven't been doing many mukbangs. Um, my calories right now are very restricted um, simply because I'm not getting much physical activity. So I'm not really eating anything fun, uh, to be honest. It's a lot of clean eating stuff that you all probably would not be interested in seeing me chow down on. Anyway, what else was I going to ask y'all? Something. I'm eating lots of uh, fruits and veggies. Hold on, I have to back it up here. And try to bark. There we go. This mall is cute, I have to tell you. Um, also, I don't know how much skin they removed from me when they did the surgery in terms of pounds. But I will tell you that before surgery, I weighed in at probably 185, close to it. And as of today, it was 173. So, it's working and I'm not gaining weight. Um, okay, we'll be back. I just told Lauren, I was like, we're supposed to be doing a video and I've been a slacker. We've done like 17 laps already. I know. Maybe three. <laughs> okay, it's three. But it's a big mall. It is a big mall. I was trying to explain, okay, so coming from somebody who hasn't lived here their whole life, how would you explain this mall? It's improving. That's what, it's I, told, improving. That's what I told them. So, there's that. Yes. Um, it used to look like really dark. Like no one would ever want to come here, but they've added carpet and lighting and rocks. It's very modern and clean now, yes. and it used to be very like circus. Like, it's remember weird. the multicolored crazy carpet and... I would travel an hour away to go to any mall other than this mall. Right. And I told them, I was like, they've, it, they've made huge leaps and bounds, yeah. but they don't have the stores. I think they're working on that. Right. But even like the empty walls, they've they put like King Sport yeah. trivia and like things about the History. city. Yeah, it's nice. The theater has been upgraded. We are officially the old people of walking and all the teenagers are here. And also it's very oh. muggy inside. <laughs> I just felt that, like. <laughs> you see this is the Real Housewives of Shady Pines? Yeah. Do you know what that means? Shady Pines is the retirement home that Sophia That's fantastic. had to get you. <laughs> I was telling them about my real estate dreams before you got here. I honestly, I can't think of anybody who could do a better job. Oh, please. I'm serious. You've got, like, the great personality for it. You're very upbeat. You know, most I would have to wear other... I would have to wear things that aren't elastic. <laughs> pants, Tyler. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get some nice flat front shorts and, like, dressy shoes you could to go that. show a home. Yeah. Gosh, it is stuffy in here. You can even teach, like, a workout in the living room where you're showing the house. To them. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my excuse to wear this. <laughs> Alright, I know I'm taking on a house tour, but we're just going to do a quick little hit in the living room. They're like, okay. <laughs> That'd be great. I've seen these people multiple times today, like just some of the workers, and they're probably thinking, can that guy get a laugh? Because <laughs> I've already been here once. If I smell this pizza one more time, I'm going I know. to get a piece. Look at that dad with the little... Oh, Cam. Literally can't. I mean, I wish I could, but I can't. See, like, look how pretty this is. Oh, look, Bees Mountain. Yeah. That's her husband's, like, home away from home. It really is. And, you know, the light is all filling that. There's pennies. That is still in operation somehow. This is, a, like, an arm workout. I'm exhausted. See, isn't that nice? It is. Little date night. I really want pizza now. Okay, stop learning to control. Don't feel. Conceal. Don't let them know. Let it go. Let it go. I gotta switch arms, so this yeah, is perfect. Like the thing. Huh? Your case. Oh, thanks. Isn't it cute? Yeah, and it's like ancient. And the succulent pop socket. <laughs> OMG. Are we, you know what I should have brought? My selfie stick. Oh, failed. There's a GameStop. These stairs didn't used to be here, pop quiz. Yes, they are now. I used to work. 
He used to work in that corner, ladies and gentlemen. What did you do? I worked at the cookie store. Stop it. Yeah. Didn't there used to be like a little pretzel shop right here? Uh, there's Annie Ann's downstairs. No, like one right here. Well, this, yeah, that corner one was the one I worked at, the cookie store, which was like not Great American Cookie Company. That's the main, and there still is a Great American Cookie Company. We were like the- Great American Cookie Company. Like if Great American- <laughs> Cookie Company. I have to say it all in one word. <laughs> if the Great American Cookie Company is the Coke, the cookie store was the Pepsi. Oh, yeah. I'm a Pepsi person. I'm not. I'm Coke all the way. I don't know. And I feel like 99% of the world is Coke. They are. I don't like understand Like Coke it. preferred. I don't even really like But is it pop. Mountain Dew Pepsi? Yeah. That's but probably their saving grace. I like Sprite, but that's Coke. My aunt worked for Pepsi, so it's like a family thing. Oh. Yes. You're, it's bred in you to... It is. Oh my god, I hit 10,000 steps for the first time since my surgery. <sighs> Killing the game. Oh, I just wanted to pound it. And it's not going to punch you in the face. Oh, every perimeter. Every perimeter we walk. <laughs> That one poor lady was probably like, get me away from this, whatever is happening right now. Look, it's us. That is us. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay, we'll be back when we can't hear music in the background so we won't get copyright flat. Continue. We're back with, we'll no back. with no music. We're talking about her new house and I was asking her how that's going because they're in the process of... Remodeling. Yeah. Did it have carpet before? The kitchen. Oh, I hate that. Oh, it's terrible. What is with that? know apparently if you had carpet in your house back in the 40s it showed a sign of wealth right that was and all the now, rage it's like if you've got hardwood flooring in your house it's right it's like reverse it's kind of like how wallpaper you couldn't be caught or wallpaper used to be all the rage oh yeah and then it was completely passe and now it's coming back right so carpet I swear to you will eventually make it come back I'm not saying keep it in I'm the kitchen I'm not keeping don't, it ever but I'm just saying I mark my words carpet will come back I just like there's just something about the look of hardwood or like even laminate or laminate yeah La laminate 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 La okay. laminate flooring well yeah. anyways I'm just excited I don't know that carpet it, you can show when you've got like, furniture sitting somewhere for a long period of time and you're so funny. oh I do hate that the dimples at yes. least yeah you can see where it's trafficked. Plus, if know. you spill stuff on it, it's a nightmare. Yep. If your cats puke on it. Oh, gosh. Which Will is happen. a guarantee. Yes, 100%. There's nothing like that 3 a.m. wake up call. Let me call it. <laughs> nothing like that 3 a.m. wake up call of. <laughs> it's like the jaw seam, and the faster it gets. Heel, heel, heel. <laughs> If you don't have cats, you wouldn't understand. A lot of them do have cats. Well, you know. So don't worry about it. We're going to have to start running. <laughs> Wish we would. It is hot in here. It is. Like certain spots, I feel like I'm... Right? It's like almost like a... Like misty. a... Like I'm getting a little verklempt under the arms. <laughs> I really want a pretzel. I just really want everything. I really love cinnamon sugar pretzels, I gotta tell you. Oh, look at those little mini hot dogs. That yeasty smell. They have a candle in the fall that is... Heaven? Is it my friend Jenny Jones? I can't tell. <laughs> and it's a uh, cinnamon sugar pretzel, something pretzel, and it has like that yeasty, delicioso smell. They're still not <laughs> They're still what? Not in the movie. Her niece is here. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Anything you'd like to say to them? I'm just, you know, don't get carpet if you have got cats. That's pretty much it. That's all. Words of the wise. I thought that guy didn't have shoes on. I did too. And I was gonna be like, okay, I love you and I mean it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button if you wanna get updates. Where's the bell? The bell's just down there somewhere. Hit it, smash it. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Do Social it. media, T. Ramey one on Instagram, Tyler Ramey on Facebook, Tyler Ramey YouTube on Facebook. All that info is below. See you next time. <laughs> bye. Or will we? The girls say bye. <laughs>